Hey guys, welcome to another wildlife Q&A. Today I've got a great question from Teresa. She asks, does the light change throughout the year other than duration? So for example, does it change in angles, intensity, that sort of thing? And then she asks a follow-up of, if it does, how do I plan for that or learn that and figure that out? Uh, this is a really great question. And so the answer is yes, the light certainly does change throughout the year in multiple ways other than duration. Obviously sunrise and sunset time changes. Uh, there's a million free apps or paid apps out there for your phone that can tell you sunrise and sunset time in the future, in the past, um, and, and all that sort of stuff. I actually have the sunrise and sunset time on my watch. Sunset today is at 6.32. Uh, because I do pay attention to that so much with my photography. The other part that changes with sunlight is actually the angle. So from, you know, north to south, east to west, all those directional angles it changes, but it also changes in the angle that it arches through the sky in. You know, so in the northeast of the United States where I'm at here, in the summer the sun arches through the sky a lot higher, a lot more right through the middle of the sky. So we get a lot higher, more direct overhead light. In the winter, the sun is always at a little bit more of a steep angle, a little bit lower angle. That being said, it's still really bright. You know, middle of the day sun in the winter versus the summer still sucks. But uh, it does always have kind of an arch to it. And so in the winter, you can sometimes get a little bit longer shooting period with the angle of the sun. That being said, the intensity of the sun is almost always worse in the winter in the northeast here where I live because of the lack of humidity in the air. So in the winter, when we have clear skies with no humidity, you know, a half hour, 40 minutes tops after sunrise or before sunset, the sun is unbelievably harsh already. In the summer, sometimes you can get an hour, a full golden hour, or even more, you know, if there's a lot of humidity in the air. That kind of filters down the intensity of the sun and it allows it to be a lot softer for a longer period of time. So atmosphere and humidity conditions in the air come into play as well with how intense that sun is. That being said, planning the angle of the sun. So, you know, if it's, if you want to get the sun coming up behind you or in this general direction on, let's say a particular pond that you want to try and photograph some birds at, well, throughout the year, it's going to change. And how I figure that out are by using apps on my phone. So there's one app I have called Sun Seeker. That's the one I particularly like. I'll drop a link in the notes down here. And then there's also one called Photo Pills. I'm sure there's others that do it as well. Uh, those are the two major ones. I like the Sun Seeker just because I personally find it like a little bit simpler to use. Uh, but Photo Pills is the one that goes super advanced. You can plan exactly where you want to be to line up, say, the sun or even the moon with, uh, you know, an object in the image and line things up perfectly. It'll tell you where to stand, on what time, on what day, things like that. So you can get really detailed. And a lot of landscape photographers I know really use those sort of things to plan out their shots. Um, but for wildlife photography, it is important. And I definitely use these apps to kind of plan where I'm gonna be and when. Thanks for that great question. Hope I answered it for you. Thanks so much for submitting questions. And if you have a question you'd like to ask me about wildlife photography, hop on over to my website at rayhennessy.com and submit the question there. And I might just choose it for a future episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like everything I've been sharing here. And I share a ton of other stuff on my website blog posts, articles, other instructional videos that aren't even available on this YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the email list on my website to get exclusive tips, tricks, and offers. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll have more to share again soon.